Hello and welcome to Book Talks. I'm Brenton Simons. I'm very pleased to be with you once again and to give you a view into books recently published by American Ancestors, New England Historic Genealogical Society, and others. And today's theme is the 400th anniversary of the landing of the Mayflower in 1620. Now, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, many of the ceremonies and events marking this milestone anniversary have been postponed. But the good news is that much work continues online, and I want to direct you to our website, mayflower.americanancestors.org, where you can access for free sketches of all the Mayflower passengers and crew. These were written by Robert Charles Anderson, the Great Migration Series author, and there is even a portal or a gallery for modern day Mayflower descendants uh, where you can leave a photograph and even say a few words about why your Mayflower interests or lineage are important to you. Um, these are in addition to special projects we're undertaking with the General Society of Mayflower Descendants to add special content from the Silver Books online and a major collaboration with the Mayflower Society and Family Search to digitize and make available lineage papers from the Mayflower Society. So that's just some of what's going on to mark this special 400th anniversary. But in the meantime, I've got a book that if you're interested in the subject, you will want to own. This is called the Mayflower 500. It includes lineages for more than 500 famous American and world figures who descend from Mayflower passengers. It was written by Gary Boyd Roberts, who is the Senior Research Scholar Emeritus at New England Historic Genealogical Society and the author of books on ancestors of American presidents, uh, several books on royal descents, and other printed sources volumes, and really one of the great experts in our field. And what Gary has done is gather together the lineages for all famous people that he and his colleagues could trace who descend from the Mayflower passengers, and these include presidents and inventors and explorers and actors and entrepreneurs, uh, even two circus performers. Um, here are the lineages of presidents such as John Adams and the Bushes and uh, Calvin Coolidge and Ulysses Simpson Grant and famous women uh, like Julia Child and Katharine Hepburn and Betty Davis and Laura Ingalls Wilder, to name just a few. And one of the great things that Gary has done is he provides at the beginning of the book a list of all of the people treated in the volume. He then divides up by each Mayflower passenger who the famous descendants are and then gives you a chart of the lineage. Um, so it's a really easy book to use. It is very helpful. I just recently had to look up uh, descendants for Winslow and I found a lot of um, interesting information I didn't know there before. And of course, it cites all the sources and wherever possible, it cites the Mayflower Society application numbers so that uh, readers can actually go to more direct sources uh, if there's something here that interests them. So this is a great book um, that takes a new look at this amazing progeny of the Mayflower. And I'll just read you, I wrote the back jacket copy, so, so it, hope you'd, hopefully you won't mind my quoting myself. But what I wrote was, from the world-renowned genealogist Gary Boyd Roberts, the acclaimed author of America, Ancestors of American Presidents and the Royal Descendants of 900 Immigrants, comes a new groundbreaking work, The Mayflower 500, published to commemorate the Pilgrim Quadricentennial in 2020, Roberts's book stands as a testament to the widespread, diverse, accomplished, and sometimes surprising progeny of the Mayflower Pilgrims, and as a fascinating look into the genealogical evolution of America over four centuries. Treating more than 500 people uh, in American history and contemporary life who can trace their ancestry to the founding families of the Mayflower. 
Roberts has included lineages for a sweeping array of descendants, including political, literary and artistic figures, actors, musicians, inventors, military officers, explorers, business, cultural and religious figures, scientists, academics, athletes, and even two circus performers, as, as I said before. Um, it is a great book. It's quite a tome uh, coming in at some almost, well, over just over a thousand pages. And at the end of this message, there'll be information on how to order this. And I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, again, if you have Mayflower Ancestry, this is a must have. The other book I wanted to show you is from the Yale University Press, and it is by Professor John Turner, uh, who has uh, used our library in Boston, and it's called They Knew They Were Pilgrims, Plymouth Colony and the Contest for American Liberty. And uh, John was nice enough to have uh, invite me to be a blurbist on the book jacket, so I'm quoted here, and, and what I wrote is, quote, just when you thought you knew the pilgrim story. John Turner cuts through mythology and sweeps aside dated perceptions to expose the considerably more complex legacy of what new, uh, liberty meant in early New England. And this is a, a fascinating and beautifully written book, um, and I strongly uh, recommend it. It really is a great book. And one of the things here that I'm especially proud of in this book is that it, it takes the uh, Native American experience into great consideration. And so it's very important on a number of, of levels, but that being one of the most important reasons. So together, these books, uh, among many others, and there will be more book talks on other Mayflower related uh, volumes in the coming weeks, um, are something that I think every Mayflower descendant should consider having, and I hope you'll take a look at. Thank you so much for being with me. I hope you're safe and well, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.